you're trying to get into business or get your business going, um, one, have an idea of what the mission is. What is, what is. what is your mission? What is your brand? What are you trying to achieve? And how, and how, do, how does your product offering achieve your mission, essentially? Um, get your ideas out of your head and onto paper. So once you start writing it down, your thoughts and ideas will start to become clearer and you'll start to have a, a, a clearer understanding of what it is you're trying to do and what it's going to take to get there. Um, understand that there will be hurdles along the way. Every no, like it's, no one has plain sailing on, on the journey. There's always going to be hurdles and bumps in the road. But if you understand that going into it that it, that it's not going to be an easy process it's probably going to be one of the most difficult things you've done is, is is getting your business from from off the ground from from scratch just understand that when you when you start and go for it um understand that it's going to take a lot of time and attention and focus day in day out and you're not necessarily going to see the patient period so when when you plant a seed there's there's a time where the seed is growing but it hasn't sprouted yet so you might not see the results straight away but it's still growing understand that understand um all of be conscious of the things that are taking you away from your mission and the things that are distraction um things that are distracting you in your day-to-day -day and stopping you from being productive and doing what you actually need to do be very strict on that be very strict on what is stealing your time and taking it away from your from your mission. And um, yeah, just tenacity, just keep going. You need to become obsessed with your customers. Um, I think become obsessed with trying to understand their pain points, their triggers, the impact you have, the impact you're trying to have. Constantly um, be willing to adjust your product to suit your customer as well um i think if once you i think when, when you obsess over your customer everything else falls into place like if you if you if you obsess over their their journey their experience with your brand the way they perceive it the way it makes them feel i think if you over if you obsess on those things um that that will um, automatically cause you to improve things in your business to make it better for your customer. And I think when they have a great experience, that's free marketing because they'll tell other people about it. They'll come back nonstop. Um, so I think, obviously, I didn't want to go into as much because Aaron, a lot of the things that Aaron said are right. Um, but adding to that, it definitely is obsessive of your customers, in my opinion. I think, I think that's my learning from the things that I've done in the past as well that I'm doing different now.